implicit derivation. Here we have a tough problem. And the problem is, prove that dy dx for the function square root of y over x plus square root of x over y equals to 10 is y over x. Answer is very simple. Where x and y are not equal to 0. So that is what the question before us. Now, how to do this question? So I'm showing you one approach uh, which may not be the best. But, well, that gives us the answer. So my approach here is that let me first simplify this particular function and then continue. So I'll simplify this function a bit and then continue with the problem. So the question here is square root of y over x plus square root of x over y equals to 10. To simplify, let's square both sides. So if we square both sides, like this becomes, to be very clear, let me show you what I'm trying to do. I'm squaring both sides, right? So this is what I'm doing. So when I do this, it's like a plus b whole square. So I get a square plus b square plus 2ab. Don't forget that center term 2ab. So we'll write a square is y over x. Plus let me write two times a and b, which is square root of y over x times square root of x over y times Okay, that's over. Plus b square, which is x over y, is equals to 100 square, I mean 10 square, which is 100. So that's what we get. Now, here we have y over x plus, this is 2, right? Plus 2 plus x over y equals to 100. So, so that is our equation. Now, once we get this equation, we can find the derivative of this equation, right? So we'll write this in the form of, uh, uh, I mean, with minus power, so that we use the power rule. So we write y x to the power of minus 1. Let me take 2 on the other side, so it becomes 100 minus 2 as 98, uh, plus x times y to the power of minus 1 equals to 98. So that becomes a simplified form of the given equation. Now, let's do derivative of this. So we'll use uh, chain rule, of course, here, and implicit derivative since it's a mixed up term. So when we differentiate with respect to x, what do we get? Now, this is a product, correct? Now, derivative of y, so we get dy dx and 1 over x, right? So it is 1 over x dy dx. We are using product rule here, plus derivative of x to the power of minus 1 is negative x to the power of minus 2, right? So we get negative, so it's negative 1, right? Times y, I'll write y here, over x squared, right? Now we'll do the same rule here, product rule. So we get here plus Derivative of x is 1, so we get 1 over y here, okay, plus x times derivative of 1 over y, so that would be minus, right? So just minus of x over y squared times dy dx, and derivative of the right side is 0, okay? You may do this separately, or over 2-3 steps, you'll get this result, right? Now we'll combine these terms and solve for dy dx. So that is our step. So when we combine these terms, we say dy dx is, here we get two terms which have dy dx, right? These are the two terms. So we say dy, and we'll take the other terms to the right side. So we have dy dx, and from here, it is 1 over x, and from here, it is minus x over y square. Okay? This is equal to, we are taking these two terms to the right side, right? So we get y over x square minus 1 over y. So that's where we land. I utilize this part of the space now to continue. So if I simplify this, I get, now, 
Let me take 1 over x common. So we get x square y square terms. It will be much simpler to look at. So we'll do that. So we'll take dy dx and I'm taking here 1 over x common. So I'll say 1 over x and within square root I get I took 1 over x common. So I got 1 minus x square over y square. And on the right side I'll take 1 over y common. So I get 1 over y common and I get y square over x square minus 1. Do you see that? So that is the kind of strategy I utilized. Now from here we know what dy by dx is. We can divide this by this term and get the answer. So there are x and y terms. So what I will do, I will do a substitution here just to save some space and make it convenient to write. So my substitution is let x over y be equals to t, right? Just for simplicity. This is too complicated. So I'm doing the substitution and then rewriting my equation. So I'm writing dy dx as equal to, so when this is like t, uh, okay, so a couple of things. This x, I'm taking it there. Or, okay, so what I'll do is, I will find dy by dx, I'll first write x over y and then do the substitution later so that's absolutely clear in one step so it goes x there so x over y we get here and this term is y square over x square minus 1 and then so we divided by this we took x there and we'll divide by this term right so let me say divide by 1 minus x square by y square Alright, so this is just to save some space and make it clear. It's not confusing. I think it's better and clearer, right? I never thought it would be like this. Anyway, now we'll substitute this t here for x over y and then see what happens. It becomes simpler. So x over y is t for me. So this term is t, right? So this t here. Now, now this term is reverse of x over y. So it is 1 over t square, okay? Minus 1 divided by 1 minus t square. So that's what we get, right? 1 minus t square. And now we can simplify it and get... So, so what do we get? So when we simplify this, uh, let me write it in three layers. How does it matter? t times. This becomes 1 minus t square over t square, correct? So we took common t square. So this is my first term divided by, this is my first term. So let me write this in brackets. I was avoiding to write this three layers, but I thought this is okay now. 1 minus t square. Okay? This is this term brought downwards. And now I can cancel 1 minus t square. You can see 1 minus t square can be canceled. And t over t square is actually 1 over t. Do you see that? So once you simplify, you get 1 over t and 1 over t is y over x and that is the result we were looking for. So anyway, the idea is that yes, you do get this and so we have proved that dy over dx for this function is indeed equals to y over x, right? So to get the result, you may have to substitute, do some of these things here and then finally you do get, right? So try it on your own and see now that it works. And that, that's kind of tricky. But once you do it, you will understand. And if you get similar question in the test, wow, you are the one who are going to get it right. All the best.